around here is called Politician Speak, Why We Don't Trust Politicians. Whether it's what they're painting on the side of big red buses or offerings to students that seem to evaporate after election, we struggle to trust our politicians at the moment. And that's a big problem for us as citizens, but I can explain why politician speak is so hard to understand and how we got to this situation. So what I'm offering is essentially a history program, but very much with a 21st century twist of life, which is that I've trained a bot, a computer algorithm, similar to those that created fake news allegedly in the recent elections, but my bot reads everything that politicians have said of note over the last hundred and so years. And what it's done is it's read everything that British politicians have said in speeches, manifestos, and laws since 1900. That's about 43 and a half million words, or 56 copies of the King James Bible. And what it's demonstrated through this analysis is some really interesting trends in how politicians speak to us and hide things from us, and have done for well over 70 years. It's a problem that has a much longer history than many realize. And I'm gonna tell the story, but not through a dry trudge through statistics but through a really engaging story with the data just there to add a bit of spice. The story has three key parts, which are blood, chaos, and treasure. Blood tells about how the aristocracy ceded power to regular Britons, the blue bloods to the red bloods. Chaos talks about how war and globalization stripped a lot of the powers away from the British state. Treasure talks about how impoverished the British state became. But the power, the medieval power to control language still remains, and that's why there's a mismatch between what the politicians claim and what they actually deliver, which is crucial. And there's also some personal stories to add a bit more spice to it. I've got Winston Churchill's worst ever peacetime decision, Harold Wilson's undergraduate essays, which we recently discovered in Oxford. The content, what was actually inside Margaret Thatcher's handbag is relevant to this, and Gordon Brown's time machine is really interesting as well. And of course, Referendums, the only way to be plain in the 21st century. So, the format is very flexible. It could work on television, it could work on radio. Uh, it's for anybody who's an interested and concerned citizen who has no idea when they're throwing their slippers at the television, why won't they just give a straight answer? And it's got a historic relevance because this year, 70 years since George Orwell completed his book 1984 and told us about double speak and the danger of having powerful figures use and misuse the representation of reality through language. And I'm going to talk about politicians speaking in the 21st century. Thank you all very much. Uh, 